Hello everyone, my name is Karima Wushusha, I'm Senior Lighting Artist at Ubisoft and today I'm gonna show you how you can create a nice night shot like this scene also I will give you some tips in your lighting to improve your lighting in Unreal Engine so before we start I will give you the first advice that you have to do some research first from ArtStation try to get some reference from your own mood or anything related the night shot that you want to achieve so in my case I have my own mood because I know the color harmonies and how the mood gonna be looks so I will start I would prefer to create separate level for each of your uh, mood in your scene uh, just in case if you want to create many lighting mood so I would prefer also to create some sub levels here you see I have a daytime nighttime or even this gray time but this, this is not correct also here but it's missing the HDR backdrop but anyway it's not our case so I'm gonna create new level but let's go to the map and we'll create level and you can name it for example it's night vibe for example or night shot okay and then I will drag it here okay so once we drag this here we have double click or right or press uh, right click and make current okay from here we are gonna start first with the first thing it's the global ambience I'm I'm always start with global ambience to get some night GI to see how it's gonna be looks uh, during the day or night so to use this I never use skylight because I will show you why we can't use skylight so the problem with the skylight it give us very bad lighting or global lighting as you can see here even if I do my density here it's 0 0.1 I still feel the light is not correct or missing some uh, GI or ambient occlusion and the light is not blended together into environment so if I remove this and replaces with HDRI backdrop if you don't know how you can get the HDRI drop so basically you have to go to setting plugins and search HDRI drop and turn it on and restart your Unreal Engine and then you can open it again okay so let's make the size 1000 and from here I have this HDRI it's a blue so which is a uh, the one I looking for and I will add it here and then we'll put 0 0.2 then you have to turn it this off and there is turn it on again as you can see here we have a very 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 nice very nice ambience it looks now more natural more real so now we can move on to the next step the next step I am gonna create my uh, uh, fog fog exposure uh, uh, the fog okay so I can copy my fog here to not waste time and I will show you my setting so let's turn this off and pack again here okay so as you can see here the fog always give us very nice effect so with this fog I used to use the blue blue mood or you can even change your mood as you wish but I will tell you why I am gonna use the blue because I need to get some nice color harmony between the blue and orange color okay also you can control of fog nasty I I would not prefer to use high density because it's gonna make a uh, bright fog so I am always prefer to use lower value okay also 
you have to turn the volumetric fog on because if we turn this off you see we have a very bad fog but by use uh, volumetric fog we're gonna get very nice fog from here you can control your fog distance so I I just reduce the fog distance to blend between the gates and uh, the forest here okay so don't try to make it too much okay once we set up the environment now the our environment is ready so we can add post processing okay so I'm gonna create post processing here and let's go to image effect and we can give uh, vintage it's 0 0.6 and make sure to use infinity okay and from the temperature now we can start to select our uh, uh, temperature or our color okay the white balance so you can go more for the uh, as night for the blue or whatever you, your mood you are looking for so let's go for more plush here okay and we can leave the rest now until to finish the the lights so now i want to mix between the blue and orange so what i'm gonna do i was thinking to use some lanterns or candles so i bring some candles and here i'm gonna teach you how you can create your own blueprint candles or your own uh, props light props as a blueprint and to use the blueprint it's gonna give you more availability to put your candles uh, in your scene without have too much layers so we we'll remove all of them and let's see how we could create the candles I'm gonna press right click here and create blueprint and actor and from here we can say it's a candles candle very zero one okay and let's open the blueprint and from here we'll bring all of this okay this props and drag it here okay so let's save this and bring this here first beside the characters or even if you add third person why I do this to measure the size between the characters in the scene and the candle so now this candle looks too big so we gonna reduce let's see this is a flame I just want to make sure I use this okay so let's put this in this group and scale this down so for the scale I think 0 0.5 it's a good size okay now we are ready to create the light so for the light I'm gonna use the point light with a small radius and I will tell you why I use small radius okay if you ever uh, see the candles at night you will see it's it's not make sense to have a shadow from the flames so what we're gonna do it's very important to uncheck cast shadow from flames okay because the flame doesn't uh, cast shadow okay and from here let's go to the setting for the point light and change first we're gonna change first the uh, temperature for the candles 
I think it's between 2,000 or 2,500. It's a good value. Maybe 3,000. Okay. So, yeah, it's more between the yellow and white. Is the candle how it should be looks. Also, we're gonna change the radius. We need a small radius because we're gonna put these candles in different area so we need to make sure the radius is small and then we can add some supported light to uh, give us more uh, light and here you see now we start to get a very nice light from the candles I think this radius is enough also from here we can change the source radius to get more softened shadow yeah that's that's enough for me now okay and then we're gonna create another point light to make the glue because every uh, candles has to be uh, some uh, plume effect or glow uh, as a foggy so we gonna create this with small radius and here we could add 20 and make sure this one you have to turn the volumetric scattering scattering zero and let's see for the fog we can go back here it's okay we can keep it right now it's gonna be visible in the end but we have to change the radius here so this that's fine 20 okay so now we have the first version of our candles okay so now you can create your some other candles like to create more candles here so I can copy this duplicate we can take this okay and from here you can scale it down or scale it more to just have some variation Let's rotate it. We can scale this up more. Okay, so now we have a group of candles, not only three, and you can duplicate this candle and create your own variation of candles till to have four or five. It's up to you. okay so let's remove this no, right now so now we have this candles so it's ready to put in our scene so if you remember the previous tutorial I told you you have to highlight the main key elements here so my key elements here is the gate right so I am gonna try to add my lighting around the gate okay and as you can see here the light radius it looks small so we are gonna try to yes get something like this
we can turn this off and let's tick one here and there is big mistake some of artists they are doing to leave the light in the same position and same rotation and that's not correct so always try to change the scale change the rotation uh, to have some real variation okay we can put this here and take another one here And one more here. And also we can put some on the ground. and let's see from our view how it looks so still need some lights okay now as you can see here we have a very nice lighting but this one is not nice so let's remove it we could add one more on the top Yeah, now it makes sense did you remember when i said we need some supported light to make the the light looks natural more so as you can see here we have this small radius so now we need some supported light to improve our candles in this place okay so let's move this here and now I'm gonna create another point light with the same temperature three thousand and that change the source radius and now we could move this more down here okay and i think if we add the fog here one more time it's gonna be works so let's create this one and go go back to the viewport and move it here in this case we can turn the cast shadow off uh, You see we start to get some nice fog but I would prefer to make this 2000 yes and the fog maybe 20 20 that's enough
okay and we could move it more higher to just get this nice bloom effect yeah I think that's enough for me now you see now we have some nice flame okay so now we try to match the same color you see it's before and after so we could change the radius to just get nice blending between the blue color on the top and the light from the candles like this so one more thing you have to know <coughs> light is a sensation so you have to always keep this in mind you have to make nice balance between your light and the colors okay so here I think it's a good idea to add big spotlight to just blend the top area here and now we can turn this off and change the color to blue and from here do you remember when we use the uh, light function to have some nice fake shadow let's move this here you see now but we need to change the light to match the background or the moonlight now before and after you see we have some nice shadow okay so from here we could take this light and we can add it here and let's bring this down to two just to have some nice highlights to highlight this rock and also this one so now we have a very nice blending so from here I can take this one and try to put here beside this character to get some nice lights here okay so let's see how it's gonna be looks it is big a bit so we can sm scale it down okay so you see here we have a very nice fill light comes from behind and now orange light we could leave this here it's not that bad okay absolutely we can leave it here so now we have a very nice vibe light
and from here you can add more lights okay so now let's go back to the post processing okay from post processing we can turn the plume to get some nice plume effects and chromatic maybe 0 0.3 Okay. And the contrast, we don't need too much contrast. So, but I'm always try to move this wheel to try to see if I can get more colors. You see, you might get this this mood it's up to you I think that's okay for now From the temp from the tend here, we could change the tend. Because in my case, I used you see this very green effect, so we can play with this. Also, I used some fog because at night we need some fog. So I have uh, I created some fog planes here. Let's copy this and bring to our shots you see it makes difference so we have some nice fog effects and even if we copy the post processing here you see the post processing always make different so this is my post processing you see this the ones that I made it but because I try to put more uh, work on post processing to get the the mood that I looking for so now in the end I get this mood you see now it's much 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 better than this I'm really like the green effect so you see if I bring this here boom but just small change you can get this blend effect so just in case you need to get this mode you can see what I did here the vintage was 0 0.6 temperature 10 minus 0.4 and saturated so that's pretty much so what we made here now you can absolutely use it in the game because in games you're gonna need to create some light props so that's a way to create your light props light props you should create uh, the light with a small radius because as i told you we are we gonna duplicate this light around your environment and we don't need to get uh, too much overlapping so just create small uh, radius and then you can add big big light here to fake the lights comes from the candles okay but i like this this mood so that's pretty much i wish you like this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, share this video if you like it and see you in next video thank you bye bye